everybody. I hope you are having good spring days. Uh, last week we made a bird feeder and I hope you could try one or two and, and manage to see some birds coming to vi visit your house. Um, so today I have another spring craft to share with you that you could probably try at home. And <clears throat> so this is uh, something I made uh, definitely from last few weeks. There are lots of flowers outside and I'm sure in your backyard there are also some flowers that you can find. So as I walked around Bivaran, I picked some flowers and I pressed them and I made the candle holder. I hope you can see it well and I made uh, some bookmarks and it's very simple and very easy to make so I thought I'd share with you today and hopefully you can try at home and you could make it into a gift for someone that you cannot see at the moment. So um, I would like to start by going outside and pick some flowers and I'll show you how that how the whole process works. So here we are. Do you know where we are? We are just by Ember House with beautiful sunshine and beautiful um, weather and the green leaves and as you look around there are lots of flowers. So I came with the ball to collect some flowers. And I actually have already picked two to start with. So let's see what we can find. Now, if we... I actually didn't know this until we start uh, this project, that we have such beautiful flowers just right around the corner. So I'll show you. If you look down on the ground, beautiful white flowers. And from my experiment, and from my ex um, experiment and trying out different flowers, it seems it's better if it's not too big flowers and too thick flowers. So these thin petals flowers are good to use for uh, the pressed flowers. So put it in a ball and let's see what else we can find. Just cross the uh, path. And here amazing what you can find. Once you start looking, you see many flowers. Yes, also a purple flower. I'll put it in. And let's see, I don't know if this will work, but we can try some yellow flower. And I take a couple of them. And of course, flowers are beautiful, but sometimes um, leaves, they are also great for pressed flowers. I guess it's pressed leaves. So, um, really look around to see what you can find and watch out with the bees. There are lots of bees also around. So, it's good here. I think we go down towards uh, Oak Hill. backyard whatever grows sometimes buttercups and sometimes clovers clovers are also good leaves oh here is this 
is also pretty flower and this works great and this is wild flowers so you might have it in your backyard so I take a couple of them and put it in a bowl And let's see down at Oak Hill. This is very easy to press. So let's take you. There you go. Some clovers. And let's continue. have to be careful also um, you don't pick some flowers from other people's garden you need to ask them first ask your mom or daddy or your big sister make sure that you have a permission and I will take some purple flower from here I hope Karsten doesn't mind and this is the beautiful red flowers Bright pink flowers and as we pick some flowers we also can hear the birds they're also enjoying the spring sunshine all right let's continue slowly towards the schoolhouse This is a very pretty flowers um, called Bleeding Hearts. I'm not sure if it works. It's a very fleshy flower. I'll try one. So now it's getting full. And as many you as many as you like in your backyard, as long as it's not um, uh, flowers that um, your guardians or parents or bigger sisters or um, grown-ups are looking after. Um, wildflowers are good enough for pressed flowers. So I think this is enough and we can go back to schoolhouse and I'll show you the next step. So we are back in the schoolhouse and we have the flowers and now first I want to show you what we will need to do this um, all the beautiful decoration and the craft you would need a glue for craft um, very easy to get hold of and most of us have it at home and an uh, empty jar the glass jar is good it looks it comes out beautifully and painting brush and now in small container this is a diluted glue um, I have put this glue in and diluted with the water um, one to one, I think one glue and one water. So it's quite thin. And some paper towels, 
if you do not have paper towels, it's also okay if you use the baking sheets. Um, one of those, hopefully you have it at home. And some books. I have this much, but you can have many more. You need a weight. So those are the material. Now, the first step. You are going to put the flowers that you picked onto the um, uh, paper towel. So carefully place them however you like. Uh, however you put, it will come out beautifully. White flower by Ember. So I hope you can see. And I'm looking forward to this one. This is such a bright pink flower. So I put it in, lay them out carefully, and it's better it doesn't go on top of each other. So one by one. Another one of this, clover, and let's try this, the heart, blue green heart, so like that, and you would cover with another paper towel. You are going to put this box on top of the flowers and the heavier the better. So if you had many books, put them pile up high so that it, weigh, it gives a weight on the flowers. So this is the first step and now you have to wait at least one day. And some doesn't um, dry out uh, well after only one day. Some takes three days, some takes five days. Um, so it depends on what kind of flowers you have. Um, it's different, but at least one day. So if you do this to today, you have to come back to open it up tomorrow. So be patient. Um, but look forward to what comes out. So this is the first step. Now, in this case, I have already some pressed flowers and the leaves that I have done a few days ago. So there's some here that I brought to work uh, to make the candle holder today. So let's, I'm going to open this up in a few days. But today we can work with this, what I already prepared. So once you press, it comes out very dry and crunchy. So that's the sign it pressed well. And this is something you might find in your back, backyard too. This is the Japanese maple leaf. And this is also perfect for pressed uh, leaves some pink petals and some purple flowers. It's a good opportunity also to learn what each flower's names are. So next step, we will start um, pasting them. You would need the brush and the diluted glue. Um, so you have a glass jar, you would use the brush and then put the glue on the surface. And good thing is there is no rye 
or wrong. You just do however you like on the surface of the gel. It's difficult to uh, put the glue all over. You do one at a time, one place at a time. So once you put the glue on, you just paste the petal and the flower. Again, however you like. There's no right or wrong. It all comes out beautifully. And if it's not enough glue, you have to add a little bit more because it's dry leaves and the petals. Sometimes it's hard to stick. And paste that on. Choose a different one. Now this time it can overlap. And if there's not enough glue, add some more. Also very easy to work with. I think I'm going to put some more glue here. It does get a little bit sticky so um, you might get up and clean up your hands time to time. This is a great activity for rainy days, like in the sunny days you collect the flowers and on the rainy days you can do some craft at home. So on, it continues, and um, and you can work all around, all the way. I'm going to put a big leaf on. Some are easy to stick and some are not. This is all part of craft and getting to know different plants. Now you 
can do many more, many more layers if you like. But now this is not the end. You have to wait for uh, until the glue dries, the first layer of glue. And once it's dried, you have to go over it from the top of the flower petals. And don't worry if it's not completely stuck. It's also part of it. It's also, it looks beautiful. So it's better if the first layer dries and then it's easier to work the second layer. it will dry and once it dries all the color of the petals and leaves will show beautifully so do not worry just um, put some glue on top there you go so i did all the way around if you want to add more you can add more leaves and the petals so now I have completed all the way around. And now you put this on the side, let it dry. And after one hour or so it will be done. And once it's done, it looks like this. And you can put the tea lights in and put it on your dinner table. And there's your spring on your dinner table. So this is how um, pressed flower craft works. And again, there's more things you can do. Many more. You can put the pressed flowers or leaves on the paper glue them and I laminated them but you don't need to laminate it uh, you can cut it put the ribbon on and it's a bookmark and this one it's easier to see if you put it against the light or on the window and this is with the cooking cooking sheets you put between the cooking sheets put the glue on and iron from the top and you put it against the window and it's a beautiful uh, decoration on your window too. So you can do so many things with the spring flowers. So I hope um, you get to enjoy and bring some uh, spring on your dinner table or breakfast table or lunch table. So this is all I wanted to share with you today and 